In an early morning raid, 600 police officers are sent to arrest the former president. Barefoot with a bag over his head, Nambaran Angbayar is taken from his home to a prison and charged with corruption. For a month, the nation of Mongolia watches as their country's most popular political figure is jailed. Following pressure from the U.S. and international rights groups, a court releases him on bail. Free again, he accuses the current president of trumping up charges to keep him out of the elections. It's uh, uh, taking a, a form of authoritarian regime when political opponents are removed from the list of candidates on baseless ground, when political opponents are put in prison. But what to believe? In his four years at the helm of this fledgling democracy from 2000 to 2004, the country's anti-corruption agency says he quietly swept under the rug the sale of several government properties in the heart of the capital, worth millions. Friends and relatives, including his son, the agency says, now own prime real estate, bought at bargain rates. This uh, case is actually not political. This is criminal. The current president says this case is about cleaning the government of widespread corruption. Many people think that, aha, uh -huh, if there is former president, even in detention center, if there is former president's case, you know, a really corruption case uh, under investigation, I think there might be any other case can be investigated. And our law applied equally to everyone, you know. There is nobody above the law. Ever since becoming a democracy in 1990, Mongolia has struggled with increasing corruption. Its politicians are often accused of taking bribes from foreign mining interests, of getting sweetheart deals on land. Transparency International ranks the country 120th out of 183 countries on the corruption scale. If anything, the charges have made Ankhbayar even more popular. To a disenchanted population, he has sold himself as a victim and has vowed to defend the principles of democracy. The person who was really uh, uniting all these protests, uh, voters against establishment, is our former president. That's why whatever he is doing, he will be popular. With charges against him, he is barred from running, but his party is expected to win substantial votes in these elections. The current president, though, says Ankhbayar's guilt or innocence will ultimately be decided in the courts, and not the court of public opinion. Steve Chow, Al Jazeera. Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia.